for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the critical value ZC or Z star for 94% confidence. Um, for this video, I am going to show you how to do this in the TI-84 graphing calculator. So let's get started. And what I want to do first is show you what you're finding because it always helps to visualize what's going on. Let me redraw that line because that was pretty bad. All right, so what we have is we have the normal curve. Our critical values are the values that end our confidence interval. So we wanna be 94% confident, which means that we wanna capture 94% of the samples in our curve, okay? So that means that 0.94 is our area in the middle. So we're looking for the Z-score that corresponds both the positive and negative z-score that corresponds to our ending points for 94% confidence or 94% in our normal curve. Okay, um, what we're technically doing is we're trying to find the area in the outside tails. Okay, um, and there's a couple different ways that you can do this in your graphing calculator. You're basically going to hit second and vars and find inverse norm. Okay, if you have an older TI-84, then you're going to put in one half, one minus your level of confidence, zero, one. And this part here, you can either find before you go in or you can plug it in exactly like that, where this is our level of confidence. So that's our C. Okay, the reason we do that is because the area in the tail is equal to 1 minus 0.94, which is 0 0.06. And half of it's here, so 0 0.03 is here and 0 0.03 is here. So we would divide this in half to get the area in each tail. So that's technically what we're finding. If you have the newer calculator, the newer TI-84 color edition, you have a new feature on there where you get to do the center. And so you would just go to option three, inverse norm. You would put in your level of confidence, the 0 0.94, um, 0, 1, and then you would select center. So I'm gonna show you both of these methods in the calculator so you can see the answer. Okay, so let me grab my calculator. I'm gonna do the color edition first, and then I'm gonna switch to a different calculator so you can see the other um, option as well. So if I hit second distributions or second vars, I'm gonna choose inverse norm. For this one, I can type in 0.94 and then come down and select center and then go down to paste and enter. And we see that the two values that cut uh, that end our 94% area in the middle are negative 1.88 and positive 1.88. So those would be our critical values. Okay. Um, like I said, I know that this is a new feature on the calculator, so most of you probably have a different calculator that does it slightly differently, so let me pull that up. It's just gonna take a second, okay? Um, so this is just the TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. So if I hit second distributions, just like before, and do number three, this is how it used to appear in most of the older calculators. This is how it's going to appear. So I can type in one divided by two, 1 minus 0.94. Or I could find that first and just type in the 0 0.03. If that's easier for you, you can do the math beforehand and type in 0 0.03, you would get the same answer. And then just hit enter and it gives you only the negative value. But because of the fact that this is symmetric, um, if this one is negative 1.88, then this one is positive 1.88. And typically, when you are reporting the critical value, they are only going to look for the positive z-score. Okay, so 1.88 would be our critical value. That is the value that cuts off or ends our confidence interval. Okay, so as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.